Oh, cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to graph this a little bit so we can kind of get an idea just to make sure that our equation is going to be correct. So when we want to find a parallel line, you know, one thing we can do is just plot what this graph is going to look like. We know that the y-intercepts at negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then has a slope of up 1 over 3. So up 1 over 3. So my line looks something like this. And what I want to do is I want to find an equation that's parallel to it, that's not going to intersect, that goes to the point 1, comma 2. So I need to find a graph that's going to look something like that. So we're going to determine, just by my kind of estimation, you can see kind of where the y-intercept is going to go. It's going to be somewhere um, you know, less, than, less, than, uh, less than 2. So we'll just kind of estimate and see where that's going to be at. Um, so the main important thing when dealing with parallel lines is we know that the slopes have to be exactly the same. So I'm going to say my slope, m equals 1 third. And that is true for all parallel lines. They always have the exact same slope. Now the important thing is we know that our new line has to go through the point 1, 2. So we can just go and label this as 1, 2. And I'll label this as any point y1 and x1. Now you could label them as x2, x, y2. It doesn't really matter. There's infinite many points that lie in the line. But since we have one, I'm just going to label that x1 and y1. And by using our point slope form, we can plug any point in for x1 and y1. And again, it doesn't matter what you label your points. But we're going to want to keep the y and the x because we want to write our final equation in y equals mx plus b format. So we need to have those variables to represent all of the points on our line in slope intercept form. But now that I have the slope and a point, I can easily plug them into our slope-intercept form to find an equation that's going to be parallel to this line. So I write y minus y1, which is 2, equals m, which is 1 third, times x minus x1, which is 1. I can't simplify the left side anymore. I can simplify the right side by applying distributive property. So I get 1 third x minus 1 third. Then I'm just going to add 2 to isolate my variable. So therefore, I'm, now my constants, I'm going to have to do negative 1 third plus 2. Well, how do you add a fraction to a whole number? You change your whole number to a fraction. Then you got to make sure you get the same denominator. So I'm going to multiply. To get these the same denominator, I have to multiply by 3 over 3. And again, you multiply the 3 on the top and bottom to keep equivalent fractions. Therefore, I'm going to have a negative 1 third plus 6 thirds, which ends up equaling 5 thirds. OK, so therefore, now my final equation is going to be y equals 1 third x plus 5 thirds, where you can see this point right here is going to be 0 comma 5 thirds, as that's the y-intercept. And then it has a slope of 1 third, which we know has to be true for it to be parallel to this equation. Um, and 5 thirds is less than 2, but it is greater than 1. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you write a parallel line through a point using point-slope form. Thanks.